what are living building materials in a recent innovation living building blocks can be created with bacteria which make the building come alive a lot of research is going on in the field of developing living materials for a building which is a combination of biology polymers and cement chemistry what are living building materials living building materials are also known as biological building materials in which microorganisms help in the manufacturing of the material the bacteria and other microbes work as mini factories and they develop materials which can live multiply heal cracks and absorb toxic substances from the air wood is also a biological material but it is not alive How do living building materials help to combat pollution? The living building materials are designed to replace most commonly used building materials which release a lot of greenhouse gases. Cement is the most widely used construction material and is a source of industrial pollution. Hence, if we can replace cement with living building materials, then it can help in reducing the pollution that is caused by the construction industry what is the inspiration behind the development of living building materials the scientists take inspiration from organisms like corals which secrete limestone one such example is a coral reef which is formed by colonies of coral polyps which are held together by calcium carbonate will struber a material scientist and head of the living materials laboratory at the university of colorado boulder quotes nature has figured out how to do a lot of things in a clever and efficient way we just need to pay more attention how are living building materials produced will struber and his team have created building blocks in a variety of shapes with cyanobacteria which belongs to the genus Cyanococcus. These photosynthetic organisms manufacture the living building material with the use of carbon dioxide, sunlight and water. Therefore, these building materials help in absorbing carbon from the atmosphere and help in controlling climate change. In their experiment, colonies of cyanobacteria are introduced into a solution of sand and gelatin these microbes absorb carbon dioxide to help them grow and make calcium carbonate or limestone in suitable conditions the calcium carbonate mineralizes the gelatin and binds together with the sand to create micro concrete or bio cement which is a hard living brick The living brick can reproduce and grow into a new brick in ideal conditions. If these materials can grow biologically, then they can be manufactured at an exponential rate. The living building materials survive in humid conditions and cannot multiply in an arid climate.